My name is Arioko Tmeri Etilu. I'm 22 years old. I come from Amuria. I belong to the Iteko clan. I'm pursuing a bachelor's at YMCA for hospitality and catering. I love dancing. I love traveling. I love being around family and friends. I'm an extrovert. I feel loved. I feel happy. I feel I'm the right person for this, this year. And I believe I'm going to take it to a greater level. The competition was marvelous. It was beautiful. It trained me to become more confident. It trained me to know that I'm more beautiful, no matter what is around me, no matter what situation I'm in. I can say Miss Sheila really trained beautiful ladies in this boot camp. My family, they always kept pushing me that like, Ria, I tell you you love more of modeling, but you don't put it into practice. What I would say, uh, my sister, Agi, she was like, because she encourages me always that you should do something for yourself. I didn't really have threats in my competition. I felt like I created another family. I had beautiful sisters and beautiful brothers and beautiful elders. That's how I felt in the boot camp. Yes, it was like we're doing everything as family. We're united. When we are going for mount climbing, rock climbing, sorry, we all climb as a family. We wait for the other. When we reach the top, we come back down as a family. The role of Miss Tourism in the society is to put more emphasis on the tourism sites in Teso, to encourage the youth, mainly the young ladies, to join Miss Tourism Teso, because I believe once one, get, one joins Miss Tourism Teso, he or she is going to benefit a lot from Miss Tourism. Miss Tourism has taught me more about my culture. I didn't know more about Teso culture, but during the boot camp, I learned a lot about Teso culture. I learned that even we are all over, it's like we are all over the world. We are in Ethiopia, we are in Kenya, and many other countries. I want to use my title to the young ladies around Teso by emphasize, emphasizing that we should have time for our culture. We should teach our big sisters, big brothers to use our culture more in our traditional marriages. Because you find that most of the eaters don't use their traditional culture in their marriages. I believe that all the time and everything I put, my emphasis, I be, the crown belongs to me. Um, actually, the other challenges I faced was that my attire has delayed a little bit, but they came in time. I had the pressure. As I told you, we're working as a family. Some of the contestants would come next to me and they're like, Oh, wait till you, it's about to come. I was like, yeah, I understand. It's not their fault. The things remained in the bus. They had to switch and all that. And I was like, it's understandable. They really like family. They, as I told you, I created another family. Talked with my other contestants. They would advise me. They would help me out. I would even talk to our CEO. She was there like a mother, big sister to us. She's really a great person. I'm putting in fashion in culture. As, I, as right now I have a company, it's called Rear Ethic. I'm dealing in 
fashion in culture. I want to put culture in fashion. We can have a suit in our culture because in our culture we have a suka. A suka is a plain bed sheet. Not a naga, not a tabi. That is not our culture. Our culture is a suka. I believe something plain is beautiful. We don't need to wear saris for our traditional marriages. We don't need to wear gomases for our traditional marriages. Asuka can bring out the beauty now. It is a woman. Uh, we have Nero rock painting. We have the museum. We have our weather. We have Lake Bicina. We have Mount Tororo. I see myself as a beautiful business oriented woman owning a hotel and a developed company dealing with fashion. No, I'm not married. I'm not in a relationship because I'm still focusing on life. And I'm young, I'm still pursuing my bachelor's. My favorite color is purple. My favorite food is a ball and a tap nacho. My hobbies are dancing, traveling, listening to music, swimming. I can describe myself as a song. You know there's a song called Amoke by Henry. Whenever I listen to that song, no matter what has crossed my mind or happened to me, it always brings joy and happiness to me. My mentor was my dad. Since birth, being with my father. Yes. The first thing I would do is invest on the tourism sites and then invest on my business. What I can say is that the ladies out there, the beautiful ladies out there, believe in yourself. You know you're beautiful. There is no one who knows yourself more than you. And always trust that you can make it in life. As I have a saying for the ladies out there, do it, do it now. And always trust yourself with every step you take. Embrace it and do it.